All right, guys. So just want to do a follow up video. Uh, try to bring all the past videos that I've done in the last like week or so together. Um, just to kind of give you an overview. Everything else was like an update, but this is kind of an explanation. So this last week was a very scary week because what really happened was um, the day after I went to my doctor for a follow-up for my last surgery, which that was the graft removal, um, the day the follow-up was on Friday. I forget what day. I think it was November, September 5th, if I'm not mistaken. Anyway, um, everything was normal. Like when I, you know, I couldn't really see. It was kind of blurry, but I could like look out my eye. And then... That was Friday. Saturday, I went out to dinner and like my eyes started hurting. I started tearing a lot. Like something was wrong. By Sunday night, I couldn't see out of my eye at all. So what's happened since then, I went to the doctor. There was the scare that I had a stroke or something in my eye. He was afraid, you know, like something was wrong with my retina. And what ended up happening was my eye started to swell up or the in internal wall started to crumble and the tissue started to swell as a result because the pressure inside of my eye was lower than the pressure in my environment. So the solution was to get the pressure up in my eye, you know, um, feed my system some, uh, some um, anti-inflammates and um, to reverse the inflammation and to increase the pressure in my eye so that all the tissue that was crumbling in, like caving in, would go back, you know, because it's like, like blowing up a ball, right? So once they gave me those meds, I followed up with my retina doctor. And I was scary because he was like, you know, yeah, I'll give you some medication, but I've never seen it like this. So I was like, shit, dude, you've never seen it like this. What do you mean, you know? Um... It was pretty much at a point where it completely blocked my retina. So I was like seeing pitch black, not pitch, but like semi pitch black. And like if I rubbed my hand like this, I could only see something moving out like the corner, the very corner of my eye. Um, so they took a ultrasound of my eye. He saw that I didn't have any retina damage or detachment. I just had swelling. Once they gave me those meds, my pressure went up. And all of that swelling that pretty much covered my retina started to, you know, go back to where it should be. Okay. I know I'm being real like animated with my hands, but that's kind of what it's like. If you're looking out of my eye, the inside of my eyeball was like this. And then when the pressure went back up, it's like it started to open up. So now my actual retina, you know, the palm of my hand would be my retina. That was more revealing and I could see more light. So now that my pressure's up, um... He doesn't have the fear that, you know, he would have had to manually get my pressure up or that he was going to have to detach or fix my retina. Because uh, what happens is when the tissue swells and braids to, like smidges together like this, they have to like cut, cut it back because it tends to stick. And then you'll definitely lose vision. So he didn't want that. I didn't want it. And um, judging my past few videos, I'm sure you can see that I really kind of went to a different place, you know, because I started to kind of give up on this whole thing. Um, anyway, fortunately, luckily, um, I didn't have that issue. The past, the, the most recent ultra ultrasound showed that my retina was clearing up and all the tissue was expanding and the pressure was going back up and it was, you know, going back to normal. Anyway, uh, I'm not seeing a hundred percent. Like I still can't really see, but now I can kind of faint, see like my hand moving past my eye, like really, really murky water. But, um, I'm just happy that things aren't where they could be, you know, they could be much worse. And, um, you know, I totally wasn't ready for that type of change or to accept that type of change. Anyway, guys, thanks for following me. Thanks for tuning in. Um, if you have any questions, just leave a comment and I'll answer.